right, so we got another big boy ski here. So I heard this one's got a little bit of a, a bigger turbo. It's got a little bit of a bigger turbo, yeah. <laughs> this one runs a 7685, it's a little bit different of an animal, but it's still like... Hold the, on, a 7685? This is a, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's like, it's a process, you know. It that's takes, like what most race bigger. cars run on their, like, you know, like on their full-blown drag yeah. setups. Learning from the Hondas, you know. Dude. 1.8 liters, might as well run that. It's what you gotta do. You gotta put a lot of power in these things just to get them to go fast. That's wild. So, so what's the full breakdown on this? So, breakdown on this one, this one has a, a header on it. So this is a little bit different for animals, so you got, Jesus. You got oh a header, my God. header on here, you got so yeah, you can see how take manifold. The placement's different there. And I, I'm speechless. This is just absolutely ridiculous, my man. It's a whole new world for us, man. Mechanical pump. Yep, mechanical pump, 16 volt battery, atomizer injectors, M5 fuel. All What's it tuned on? All of, all of the skis that I tune, we all run Motec. Motec, okay. So, I mean, that's just pretty much what, I, what I've known and what I've learned. That's the best, man. Yeah, I mean, there's other people that use other things and go fast with it, and sure. I don't have no problem with that. Everybody has their own preference, you know, it's just based on your tuner knows. Motec's definitely a reliable platform as well, so. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, they don't help us as much anymore as they used to be, because they're focused more, I guess, on the Lambo stuff or whatever they got going on, but it's still what we have, we can work with, and it still works really good. So this ski right now, obviously, it's it's capable of running, you know, 60 plus pounds of boost. We're in the beginning stages of just making passes on it, getting the rider comfortable. So the boost right now, we have, you know, in the high 40s, just making passes, you know, horsepower wise, I don't know what that turbo is rated for, 1400 horsepower. I mean, it could be, I don't know if it's actually making that, but yes, it's, they're all making more than a thousand horse. So to go, when you're trying to go record breaking speeds in those high 120s, low 130s, you're, you're gonna be making thousand plus. There's no way fans are butts around it. But this ski right now, we're not hitting it with tons of power. We're just getting the rider comfortable and we're setting up the hull. It's all in the process. That is wild, my man. You're blowing our minds. So well, let's go ahead and fire this one up and check this one out. <laughs> That is just absolutely mind-blowing. Never did I think we would come out here and see not even a thousand horsepower jet ski, but a 1200 or 1300 horsepower watercraft. Like what are these, I mean, this is, you just gotta have mega balls to ride something like this with that much power. You will see in these clips, they showed us a preview of some of the clips on some of the testing that they've done in the past, and it is so violent. And the acceleration is just, it's mind-blowing. So, so the motorcycle guys do that too. Uh, Oscar had that on his. Lower. Yeah. You do that so you can tuck better? Yeah. What a world, man. It's real deal <laughs> stuff right there. Wanna grab it? I'm good. I'll be, I'll be right here. <laughs> what I'm talking about right here, bro. I mean, it so smells different. like the racetrack. Like, I, I smell race gas, I Methanol, hear turbo bro. noises. Like, what's better than this? Uh, <laughs> so awesome.
to it and running good, ah, it's probably north of 600. Dude, that's badass. That's supercharged. That's a supercharged motor. <laughs> that's crazy. So he just makes a pass and just flies by like this way? Right now, like, yeah. We're having like a, a ignition issue. He's got to warm it up.